Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Libra, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well so stay tuned for that my friends all right i'm going to split this deck and pull some cards from the top here we are getting the fool card libra this is you on a new journey here i feel this is something that is a long time coming for you and this is really a new adventure for you so new beginnings are on the horizon for those of you especially that have been seeking this out. This is almost to me a manifestation that is happening. And it's almost like a second chance here for some of you. And as you're entering this new chapter, this is truly a new chapter. And I feel that some of you are seeing that door in front of you. And you've kind of looked at this door here, Libra, and you're finally opening and you're walking in both feet. And this is what spirit guides want you to do is walk into this door both feet not one foot in one foot out they want you to jump in take that big risk take that chance and see what happens i'm getting the kijogi energy in punjabi that means we will see what happens. We'll see what happens, right? The Kijogi, let's see what happens on this new journey. You don't need much to walk down this path here. And this new path, some of you have seen this from a mile away. Some of you have manifested this, but whatever this is, you're on to a new adventure. This could be in the form of a new job. This could be a project. This could be a new country. This could be a new home. Whatever this is, it's brand new to you here, Libra. So embrace this energy. Now, this is a major arcana card. Um, this energy is prominent. It is in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely. Others, you're feeling this subtly. I also want you here, Libra, to use your own intuition with my cards. When you see them come up, I want you to use your own intuition and receive messages because those messages are meant for you, especially if you receive them, okay? So the Fool card, and we're getting the Moon card. So... There was uncertainty for some of you. This is kind of what I'm getting. There's almost like a revealing happening as well through this. A little bit of fear around things. Um, uncertainty, fogginess, um, illusions almost kind of. Everything is clearing away and you're starting to gain that clarity. And for some of you, taking this big risk is giving you that clarity around your life. And some of you have been kind of wandering. Some of you are wanderers. You've kind of been wandering around, trying to find your path. And now it's being revealed to you and you're finally taking that chance to walk down it. And this could be a business project for some of you. This could be just a, a project, a, a hobby, something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Maybe there was fear around it and you're finally coming outside of your shell to come outside of your comfort zone and try something different. Hence why there's going to be a big change in your life. Again, this is a major arcana card for you, Libra. Whatever fears you have, spirit guides want you to let them disappear into the night. Also, rituals are going to be very important here, moon rituals. And as we're talking about moon rituals, I just wanted to share with you, I'm doing a live event on August the 1st for the full moon. My sister-in-law, Katomi, made these beautiful intention candles. If you're interested in purchasing them, I have a community post uh, made on my channel. You can check that out. It has details about these candles. They all have a stone that is going to be consecrated through the moon ritual that you can carry around or wear. Okay, these are very powerful candles. These are for manifestation. So if you're interested, there is a limited supply. So grab one now. You might not get it for the August 1st uh, ritual, but you can have it for the August 30th ritual. So just wanted to throw that out there. Now, any kind of rituals you have, I'm getting a night ritual for some of you. Uh, I'm going to share with you what I have a nighttime ritual. My nighttime ritual is where I take a shower at night and I use water as a cleansing uh, energy tool. That was my door that just slammed shut. Uh, I just heard that freak me right out. My heart almost stopped. Um, so I use water as a cleansing uh, tool. 
So at night when I'm showering, I just visualize everything from the day kind of just washing away with the water and almost renewing my energy. And when I go to bed, I'm recharging, right? So this is kind of my ritual. And then in the morning, I'm journaling because through renewing my energy and recharging, I receive dreams and guidance. And I write those down in my journal in the morning. So I have a few different rituals that I incorporate into my day-to-day -day practice. Spirit guides want you to do that as well, especially here through the moon card. All right, so um, I don't know why spirit guides are wanting me to shuffle this just a little bit more here. And we're getting the Knight of Cups. So there's an offer coming towards you here. Someone is going to give you an opportunity or an offer that's coming in and this is along this new path that you're walking down you're not expecting this libra and whatever this big offer is this is going to help you move forward and it's not going to help you move forward in a small way it's almost like a launch happening and you're going to experience a lot of success it's you're you're feeling something within yourself as well it's almost invoking this new emotion within you that you haven't experienced before and what I'm getting through this uh, Knight of uh, Cups is this could be a person coming into your life offering you something or this is maybe someone that is already around you that is going to show you a path, offer you an opportunity to grow, whatever this is. It's coming in and it's meant to come in and spirit guides really want you to be open and invite this energy in and be receptive to it because whatever this is, it's really good for you, Libra. All right, so lots of different things going on here. Um, I love the Knight of Cups for you because through this offer, through this opportunity, you're going to take action. You're going to start moving and you're going to see movement slowly, but it's, it's, it's almost like this heavy energy. It's like a snowball effect where it starts off snow and snowballs into this big grand thing, okay? So new adventures here for you, um, Libra. And, you know, with the Moon card and the Knight of Cups, it's very, very interesting because I'm getting beginner's luck for some of you with this new energy. So perhaps you're starting something new in your life and maybe you're kind of, some of you are getting outside of your comfort zone even. I'm getting this where you were once afraid to do something and you're finally now doing it. And because of that, you have beginner's luck around it. Um, this new journey, you know this is a new journey for you. This is a new chapter. And there was this busy energy before you even entered this place. So you're either in the thick of that cycle ending or ending, or you already entered this new chapter already. I feel a majority of you have entered this new chapter. You're kind of, it's, it's kind of like you're about to put the other foot in the door. And it's almost like you're ending some things. So you've got that busy energy of completion happening, right? That can feel a little hectic, but you can feel the other foot entering, like both feet entering this now. And as you enter, it's like a breath of fresh air coming in. And you can see the blank canvas. You can see that it's anything that you want it to be, right? If you actually look, you can't see anything. It's because you're meant to put things in place for yourself. So what is it that you want on this new journey here, Libra? You have to ask yourself that. Do you have a vision in mind? Do you know where you're headed? Do you know what this journey is for you? There's going to be a lot of things along this path, but these are all things that you've kind of been molded to actually handle. And because you don't have anything, it's because you have everything in here. And having that clarity, the clarity is there as well. I'm getting clarity here for you. Some of you know exactly what your destination point is. You know exactly where you're going. And this blank canvas is there for you to kind of place things in there. So these are positive affirmations. This is a positive and growth mindset. This is you putting yourself into a system, getting into a routine, really freshening things up in your life and really walking down that path to success. This is you building that system for success, that routine for success, that schedule for success. This is a clean slate here for you, my friends. And in, in a way, for some of you, this is your second chance. This is an exciting feeling. It's almost a nerve wracking feeling as well. Um, but spirit wants you to really embrace it because the power is in you. You have everything that you need in order to walk down this path. And whatever's happened in your lifetime here, Libra, 
everything that you have gone through in your life you are meant to go through every challenge every obstacle any kind of hardship has molded you into that version of yourself that's meant to walk down this path you've gained superpowers over your lifetime through your hardships this is a new level in a way and you've beaten the boss from that older level i'm i'm using game uh uh video game analogy here so you've beaten that boss and you're on to this next level of your life and it feels so good some of you're feeling it you're feeling the excitement of this new energy coming in and spirit guides really want you to embrace this now this moon card's really interesting because for some of you i feel that there was uncertainty around something you had a lot of questions you were seeking something you were looking for it and you finally come to this place where the light is now shining you're seeing things clearly the answers are there and this is from you kind of turning inward and looking inside and looking for those answers i'm getting the hermit card here and you're really coming into this place where you're gaining the clarity and I, I went through this process before I started my YouTube channel where I was kind of lost I was looking for answers I didn't know what I wanted to do I was thinking human design or astrology I, all these different things in the spiritual realm I didn't kind of know and then finally it just happened it just one day it was clear as day it had to be tarot and I just went with it and I jumped in both feet I did the fool card. I went on the fool's journey. Here I am in front of you. It's been a success. I'm growing rapidly. Thanks to all of you. I appreciate you and love you all for the success of my channel. And this is the energy I'm feeling here where some of you are kind of trying to figure things out. There's an uncertainty or fogginess and that clarity is coming in. And spirit guides want you to embrace the night. Now, sometimes what I like to do is I like to stand outside and just look up at the stars at night when it's calm and it's cool. It's just it now is a really good time because the weather is great to stand outside in silence and just look up in the sky and ask for answers because those will come to you. And these can come through dreams and walking around the neighborhood in that in those wee hours of the night when no one's around because the world is a completely different place than it is when the sun's out. So those quiet hours and some of you are night owls and you have more energy at night and that's when you do your best work. So spirit guides really want you to embrace that and really create a schedule around where you find you gain the most energy. And rituals, moon rituals are great for manifestations. So any of you that haven't practiced moon rituals, try it with me on August the 1st as a community and see how that works for you. It's a great place to start. And even incorporating other kinds of rituals, nighttime rituals, even early hour rituals when the moon is uh, out still during the, during the uh, sunrise right i love getting up early i am a, a early bird i like to get up as early as 5 a.m and get my day started i haven't done that but i'm going to start incorporating that into my life now so this moon energy is great because there's a lot of um, energy that comes through a lot of blessings that are coming through in the nighttime hours owls are coming up so if any of you have seen an owl recently know that there is change and blessing coming in abundance is coming towards you there's messages that come through the evening animals through some of the bugs at night um even the stars there's lots of things happening in the skies that you have to be aware of here libra i feel there's something there's a message coming for you i don't know how this is going to come it's either through your meditation at night or this is going to come through a person at night something that you're watching I'm seeing like light at night I don't know if you're watching TV you're looking at your phone at night but you're going to receive some sort of a message through some other avenue this could be um oh my goodness it's just uh it's at night for sure so you're going to receive them I'm getting a foggy uh image of somebody looking at something at night this could be literally looking at the moon even right it shines light even from cloud formations now if there's a storm around you in the middle of the night a thunderstorm this is letting you know that there's major change coming into your life so embrace that energy it gives me the tower card sometimes the thunder is like a tower moment that's about to happen in your life some way somehow and it could be like a little bit of a 
a shedding that's happening out of your life and a new beginning coming in. And that fool card is there, so definitely a new beginning. Now there's an offer coming into your life in some way here, Libra. So I want you to be very aware of this and open to this energy. I want you, well, I want you to actually invite this in. Whoever this is or whatever this is that's bringing this into you is going to launch you forward. You're going to have a lot of success. This is a really good opportunity for growth. And you're going to tap into this different emotion, this uh, different feeling that you haven't feeling felt before. It's this belief. It's like, is this actually possible? Like, is this really happening for me? That's kind of what I'm getting here for you, Libra. Like, your dreams are becoming a reality because of this offer coming in and it's incoming. This can come in many forms. I feel it's going to start off small. This could be someone bringing you a coffee without you expecting it. This is something that you're not expecting to come in. It's almost like you took this chance on life, which is the fool card, right? You took this big risk and you're like, you know what? I'm going to start this project. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to open a storefront and you get a customer coming in through the door and purchasing something. This is your first sale in a way. And you're kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. It's that kind of energy that's coming through. Now for others, this is going to come in as a love offer. I'm getting a soulmate energy here and you've manifested this either through your uh, manifestation, a moon ritual or something that you have done, a ritual, a ceremony of sorts, or by taking a big risk and getting yourself out into the dating pool. Okay, so remember, this can, this can be anything in your life, right? So those of you that have been manifesting a soulmate, there's somebody coming towards you. This is someone new. You haven't met them before. They're going to bring an offer of love to you. This person is aligned to you and they're meant to come into your life. So be open and receptive. I feel this person is going to open you up to a lot of new experiences in your life. This is someone that's going to kind of open a new world to you, a world of possibilities because this person is driven, they're ambitious and you're going to bring a lot to their life as well. So it's, it's a really good alignment where you're joining forces and really opening yourselves up together to this whole new world of possibilities. I'm getting like a power couple vibe here as well. Now, this could come in as, as a form of a job opportunity. This could come in as a collaboration. So whatever this is, know there's something incoming that is going to help you launch, help launch you forward here, Libra. So allow this to come in and um, try my manifestation uh, uh, technique where I pull in strings of abundance. If you're outside or if you have a window and you can see the sky, imagine abundance out there. This could be, you know, in the form of money or happiness and joy, whatever you think abundance is, whatever it is that you want to bring into your life, look up at it and visualize that in the sky and start pulling that in as strings of abundance and wrap yourself around in it. Twirl yourself with that string of abundance and walk around your home with it. Visualize actual magical strings, whatever those look like to you. I just imagine sparkling strings gold colored that I pull in and I do this sometimes in front of my husband I'm like I'm pulling in strings of abundance for us and there's so much positive that comes out of this ritual it's technically a ritual this manifestation ritual of pulling in strings so try that and see how that works for you belief is big believe that that is all coming towards you here my friends so this is your reading through the tarot cards today i'm now going to pull a bonus card for you for you through my deck it's called the spirit of animals oracles now, signs are everywhere, Libra. I feel that you are seeing the signs around you, whether they're ants in your home, whether it's a spider in your home, birds outside. The way the universe communicates with us is through the universe itself. So everything around us is a sign. And this is something that strikes your attention. This is something that catches you off guard where you think for a second. Synchronicities and numbers, patterns, symbols, words, music, all of it. It's whatever resonates for you and that's where you're going to, going to receive the message, okay? So this is an animal or insect that you have seen. This is going to be your confirmation here, Libras. Elk, nobility. Have you seen an elk recently, Libra? If you have, this is your confirmation and if you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. Let me read you this interpretation and then I will read you the interpretation from the guidebook. 
Celebrate your accomplishments with humility, Libra. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Look at that. Anything you want, Libra, is going to be yours. Just believe in the power of you. Believe that the forces there around you are there to assist you. Believe in the universe. Everything is there for you. It's working in alignment for you. There are few animals as majestic as the mature bull elk. They demand our admiration and respect. Elk medicine can help you stand tall and resolute against situations, any situation including the mighty grizzly bear. Wow. Bull elk are protective of their families and spend most of their lives peacefully surrounded by the comfort of their tribe. Elk have few enemies. They pace themselves to maintain their endurance. Male elk enjoy the companionship of one another, except during the fall mating season. In September and October, the bulls bugle, the bull, the bulls bugle with passion and the herd splits up for breeding rituals. The elk become fiercely competitive for the right, right to become fathers. Wow. If you ever, if you have ever, if you have elk medicine and exhibit aggressive behavior, you will need to learn the wisdom of restraint and moderation. If elk is your totem, you will be asked to conduct your life with fairness and concern for your tribe. You are a wise leader and others look to you for inspiration here, Libra. You have the strength to never give up. Listen to the elk, the bard of nature. Their song will help you remember the great power that you are and everything you dream will be yours. Look at that. What a beautiful message for you today, Libra. Embrace the elk totem. I feel that everything is working in alignment for you. I am now going to pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So one fell out. I'm just going to use this. It's number 27. I am expressive. So if you've been seeing number 27s or twos and sevens together, know that you, my friends, are expressive. Let me read you the message on this card. Your mind is wide open, Libra and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. Embrace this expressive energy here, my friends. It's there for you. This is your superpower. Own it. All right, so that is your message today. That is your reading. If it resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.